In Asia and some countries in Europe, earthworms are considered friends of the agricultural industry because they promote the development of this industry and increase food production. But in the U.S., they are considered an invasive species throughout North America and are harmful to the ecosystem. So what is the impact of earthworms? We invite you to explore together. Why are earthworms considered an invasive species in the U.S.? Earthworms are considered as valuable as gold to farmers and gardeners because their movement makes the soil more porous, allowing air, water, and nutrients to penetrate into the soil. While earthworm waste also acts as a rich fertilizer, they also play a central role in many processes involving terrestrial and atmospheric communities. Since the late 1800s, in an attempt to improve agricultural soils, farmers have brought earthworms to North America from Asia, Europe, South America, and Africa. In some places, these non-native introductions successfully enhanced agricultural economies. However, in other cases, they are detrimental. Because this alien earthworm species is more likely to consume leaf litter on the ground than native earthworms, it changes the quality of the habitat and causes damage to native plants, amphibians, and insects. In the northern broadleaf forests of the United States and Canada, earthworm impacts stress trees such as sugar maples by changing their soil habitat. This, in turn, creates a chain of food web effects that help invasive plant species spread. Ironically, for an organism whose function is to improve soil, some earthworm species can alter soil properties such as nutrients, pH, and texture, leading to poor quality crops. Invasive earthworms have quietly destroyed the ecosystems of North America's forests in just two centuries. Scientists believe that if no preventive measures are taken, in just about 50 years, temperate forests could turn into barren deserts. Therefore, state governments in Canada and the United States have launched campaigns to destroy and control earthworm populations on a large scale. Researchers have come up with effective measures to effectively kill earthworms. A mustard solution of one-third cup dry mustard in one gallon of water should be mixed and wet in areas with large numbers of earthworms. The solution will stimulate the worms and bring them to the soil surface, where we can easily remove them. According to studies, abrasive materials such as biochar and diatomaceous earth are effective in killing adult earthworms. Mix one of these products into the soil in areas where earthworms live. Worms exposed to those substances will adversely be affected.
It is important to destroy the cocoons of the invasive worms. Cocoons are sensitive to temperature and can be destroyed by sun exposure with clear plastic. In late spring or summer, cover moist soil with a sheet of clear polyethylene for 2 to 3 weeks or until soil temperature exceeds 104 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 3 days. In this way, large numbers of invasive earthworm cocoons can be effectively destroyed. Diligently taking preventive measures and implementing methods to control both cocoons and adult earthworms. This will probably have some impact on cropland, but it will contribute greatly to the control of invasive earthworms. Some other measures to control the spread of invasive earthworms are to not buy, sell, or use invasive earthworms in any form. People who are interested in fishing often use earthworms as fishing bait, but once they know their harmful effects, they should not be used. If you catch earthworms, put them in a plastic bag and throw them in the trash to destroy them. If you are a farm owner who often composts, you should not use jumping worms to create vermicompost. In general, you should not use or buy any earthworms called jumping worms. Today's video ends here. How do you feel today? Please comment a lot below to let us know. Don't forget, click like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. For now, goodbye and see you again in the next videos!